Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to see how to install the restricted codecs and the restricted softwares. So in Ubuntu, uh, some of the codecs and uh, some software packages are restricted because there are some licensing issues. So in different countries, there are different law, uh, laws regarding the usage of software. Some of the softwares are licensing. There are some complex agreements between the different developing parties. So the codex or the software cannot be uh, freely distributed and installed. So due to this, the certain uh, software packages and the codex are restricted and they are not easily available in the repo. Uh, to install them, you have to use uh, certain uh, means given by the developers to install them on their uh, systems. For example, uh, this MS fonts, then this uh, some of the codex are not uh, free. So to install them, you have to agree to the licensing agreements or to the uh, laws and then you can use them. So to install them, you have to open the terminal. There is a way to install it from the terminal. So you open the terminal and you type sudo apt install ubuntu dash restricted dash extras. So that will make the uh, package manager read the package list, build the dependency tree, read the state information and then calculate which packages are available in the Ubuntu restricted extras and what packages can be installed. So these are the list of the packages that will be installed. Cab extract Chromium. So the Chromium codex, the FFMPG, extra stream, uh, G streamer, lib audio video, Intel media, uh, VA driver, lib AAC. So this is the AAC format uh, library, lib arib, uh, then lib as, as is also format. Uh, audio media for format lib av codec extra lib av codec extra 58 lib av filter the lib av format the av means audio video format a 58 lib av util 56 lib av uh, v1 d5 uh, v uh, lib dvd read so it, uh, so it uh, provides the ability to read the dvd format then the lib flight lib uh, a pack so many many are there so i will not go through all them then besides the audio video format uh, codex you got this ms core fonts you have got the uh, ubuntu restricted add-ons like the andra so andra is a uh, un unzipping uh, utility you got the vdpau driver all so it contains the intel amd and all those uh, video drivers so this is uh, for the display of video on your system and some of uh, these drivers also are used for the encoding and decoding of the video formats then you have got this x264 uh, this is the x264 uh, pre-implementation of the x264 uh, encoder so this is uh, this is useful important for encoding so suppose you have uh, got a certain file and you want to uh, encode it into a video of your uh, choice or of your liking then you have to use this H or X264. It is the same. This is X is to uh, X is the open source or the free version, and the H is the proprietary version. So it is an encoder. And 265 is the latest encoder. So it is an enhancement on the 264. Then you got the lib X video core. So these are all the different libraries. So everything uh, is installed when you type this command. And uh, further, whenever the updates are available to all these packages, they will be automatically installed. So they are enabled for the lifetime of the system. Till you use the system, uh, they will stay enabled and you can use them and you will get the updates also. So there are some suggested packages, some recommended packages also. So there is a update to the GStreamer package with the Fluent. The Fluent is also a codec. So you can see here. So totally 219 MB of additional disk space will be used. So if you confirm it, it will be installed. If you don't confirm, the system will not install all this. So that's it uh, for the today's video. I will stop the video here. In the next video, we will continue with the installation of the budget desktop. So in the last two uh, installations, we have seen the uh, KDE desktop and the GNOME desktop. So we install and install the KDE desktop. We solved the uh, issue of the unneeded or orphan packages so everything we have seen we have seen how to install the codex in OpenSUSE so now we will go further in the OpenSUSE video series and install 
the budget desktop in the next video see you in the next video bye